All right, so quickly using our graphing calculator to find the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. Uh, matrix. Um, so the first way to do it, like if we we're doing this example over here on the right, the first thing we should do is we should just add um, the matrix into our calculator. So I'm just going to go to my matrix editor, and then um, I'm going to go edit. I'm just going to call this matrix A. So matrix A that we've been given is a 2 by 2. So we'll set it to a 2 by 2. And then you'll enter the matrix um, elements accordingly. So once you enter the matrix, which I have here, I'm just going to go back to the home screen. So now to find the inverse is I can recall that matrix. So matrix A is what we just put in. And the inverse button is right here under the math. It looks like x to the power of negative 1. Um, remember, uh, if I take a matrix and try to find its inverse, its answer will be another matrix. So the calculator will give me back a matrix. So this matrix is the inverse of A. Um, what's usually nice, we can convert that to fractions. So if I simply just go to the math menu here, convert that to a fraction. It'll convert that to a fraction, or all the elements to fractions. Once I have that, like the calculator won't actually um, call that the inverse of A. It's just another matrix to the calculator. So I can store that to a matrix if I want to keep track of it. So in my case, just for this demonstration, I'm going to call it H, just so we have a different letter. So now, to verify that H actually is the inverse of A, um, I could take those matrices, I could take A and multiply it by what I think is its inverse, which is temporarily called H, and when I multiply those, I should get the identity, and I do. The other way that you could um, find the inverse of a matrix is if you didn't have to do it more than once, you could simply just enter the matrix on the home screen. And remember to do that, I hit the alpha button and then the zoom button, which is the third function key. The matrix that I want to find the inverse of, the multiplicative inverse, is a 2 by 2. So I'm just going to enter that into the home screen. And then I just enter the elements accordingly. And then once all the elements are in the matrix, so once I get that as a 5, we use the same button. This is the matrix. And instead of calling it A, I've actually just put the matrix there. I'm going to use the inverse button or the negative first exponent and hit enter. And I do get that same matrix back. And again, if I wanted to put that as a fraction, I can simply convert all of those to fractions. So two different ways to find the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. You would only really need to do one, um, but sometimes some are more efficient than others.